what is the meaning of alif lam mim as far as the meaning of the words alif lam mim etc is concerned these words are known as mutakkakat they are known as broken letters and they occur in several surahs of the quran sometimes they occur in single like sad in surah sad chapter 38 as qaf surah qaf chapter 50 as noon in surah kalam chapter 68 sometimes it occurs in twos in pairs like taha surah taha chapter number 20 tasim in surah namal chapter 27 as yasin surah yasin chapter 36 sometimes it occurs in combination of three and the three combination mentioned in the quran one occurs six times five times the other twice it's 30 times that occurs in combination of three one combination is alif lam mim it's in surah baqara chapter number 2 surah imran chapter number 3 and surah number 29 30 31 32 32 it occurs in the combination of alif lam ra from surah yunus chapter number 10 to surah hijr chapter number 15 five times it even occurs as tasim mim in surah shura chapter number 26 as well as surah number 28 it occurs in the combination of four letters alif lam mim ra and other combinations it even occurs twice in combination of five so in short there are five combinations single double three letter four letter five letter totally there are 29 times that occurs in the quran equal to the arabic letters alif ba ta 29 times counting even hamza there are various reasons that people have said why do these broken letters occur several reasons and many books have been written volumes have been written some say these are the symbols of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala some say the abbreviation like noon is for noor that is light some say they are signatures of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala some say they are used for rhyming some say they have got numerical values some say they have been used for calling the attention attract the attention of the prophet and prophet used it for the other human beings various reasons but the best amongst them i feel is the view which is also of hazrat abu bakr may allah be with him for example we know what the body is made up of whatever components the body has the same elements and components are present in the earth in lesser or greater quantity we know the constituents of the human being we can buy it from the market we can put water but you can't give life that is the secret similarly allah subhanahu wa taala uses these letters and tells to the arabs the arabs at that time they were proud of the language and arabic was at its peak so allah says alif lam mim yasin qaf noon these are your letters with your letters i've produced the quran he challenges them to produce somewhat similar to the quran and this challenge is given in several places in surah tur chapter number 52 verse number 34 that produce a book like the quran allah repeats the message in surah isra chapter number 17 verse number 88 allah says produce a recital like the quran then allah makes the challenge a bit easier and says in surah hud chapter number 11 verse number 13 that allah challenges that can you produce 10 surahs like the quran allah further simplifies the challenge in surah yunus chapter number 10 verse number 38 that produce a single surah like the quran allah makes it simplified further in surah baqarah chapter 2 verse number 23 and 24 where allah says wa in kuntum fi raib mimma nazzalna al abdina fatu bi surah min mislihi that if you and doubt as what we have revealed to our servant prophet muhammad peace be upon him then produce a surah somewhat similar to it wad u shuhada akum min dunillah in kuntum sadiqin and call forth your helpers and witnesses if there any besides allah if your doubts are but true fa illam tafalu but if you cannot do it walan tafalu and of surety you cannot do it fattakun nar allati waquduha an-nas wal hijara wa iddat al kafirin then fear the fire whose fuel shall be men and stones which is prepared for those who reject faith so this is a challenge allah says to the arab 
who were proud of the language. This is your letters, Alif, Lam, Mim, A, B, C, D. From your letters, I've created the Quran. He challenges, try and produce a surah somewhat similar to the Quran. So this is the closest explanation that I feel is right. It's a challenge Allah is giving. And that is the reason moment these broken letters are uh, mentioned in the Quran, immediately after that, there is some attribute of the Quran mentioned after that. So I feel this explanation, I feel, is the closest to the meanings of these broken letters and Allah alam.